Hi, I'm Dan Bree, Mayor Dean Esposito, and welcome to another episode of This Week in the City, where we highlight our Class Act Council. This year was the time and the place for us to get this off the ground. We are being used as a model program for other schools that are thinking about becoming a Class Act. The dedication and the loyalty of, of these 12 young athletes is amazing. I'm teaching them, you know, the value of give back, you know, the value of helping somebody else that's down and out and how it makes them feel. I think one of our biggest initiatives this year for the Class Act Council was the Referee Appreciation Week. We started it in um, the fall season, so we did Homecoming Week and we went out and we recognized every single official and we got a lot of good feedback from it. Um, the referees, we got letters um, saying that they had never been appreciated like that. Additionally, that Officials Appreciation Week became mandatory for all the schools now, so it's like cool that we were the ones who initiated it. I think it's important to be a role model to other students because we're all going through similar things at the same times. So we all have similar challenges, so it's easy to help each other out as long as, you know, someone is willing to help out. One of the things that I really like about Class Act is the fact that we're not just impacting the school, but we're also like attempting to go out and impact the community. During last season, for my baseball season, we teamed up with a community service project to help rebuild a house around Danbury. And that was really cool because not only did we get to help somebody, but it really helped the team chemistry. And it was just, it felt good to do something like that. Everyone from Class Act have been assigned student athletes who have been kind of struggling with their academics. I was in charge of one kid who was on the verge of failing off the team and I was able to work with him and he was able to bring his grades up um, and do some extra assignments so that he was able to stay on the team. When I go to compete, it's really nice wearing DHS across my chest, wearing the orange and blue because everyone knows when it's Danbury. So it's just really nice to represent and be able to go out there and help other people. Being a role model for all the young ones who are at the games for our youth nights and um, all that is just cheering and being supportive. No negativity, we're really all about that. But we still want to be there, we still want to be loud, and we still want to sit have a good time. The values and what we still are teaching young athletes is so important as coaches to help them for their future endeavors. They're not going to all be ball players. It's a great group, and I just hope that we can keep the same type of chemistry with the next group that they are they believe in it too. 